Huh. Uh, let's see. Um, I'll take the peanut butter and jelly and hold the bread. Hi, I'm Jason Oliveira, and this is The Road to 40. This is my nightly vlog about me talking about my day, what I'm thinking about, what the soul is moving me to, to say to y'all. <laughs> In the deep south, that's how I think they say it. They. I will never be a part of it. <laughs> I need to get the hell out of the south, as a matter of fact. Anywho, uh, I thought that might be a cool shirt. Like, we could do a really insane shirt. Like, I want somewhere on it to obviously say the road to 40 with a web address pointing to this channel. However, I would love the front to just be a dirty mess of peanut butter and jelly. Or maybe just block a corn eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without any bread. If you guys don't know who Block of Corn is, he's a uh, character I came up with. You ready for this? This is the first short haired Block of Corn ever. There he is. Hope you got a good shot of that, <laughs> my friend. Um, it's been a while since I've done Block of Corn. Block of Corn was this character I came up with who was like a unicorn, except he had a block of wood growing out, probably a 2 by 4 right out of the front of his head pretty brilliant i know i know i know <laughs> it's tough being me it really is i have to deal with this on a daily basis i set up a pool in the backyard today <laughs> not a huge one all right there's this uh 12 by 36 inch deep uh inflatable pool just cheesy one you see and well if you go to mywhitetrashlife.com it will get you here <laughs> so needless to say uh, but we at least kept it in the backyard. I haven't put it in the front yard. Um, <laughs> I hate living in Lynchburg. There's not a level piece of land to be found. No, there are. There's plenty. But it's the city on seven hills, which their little water, you know how like the water sewer, you know, you can take the hubcaps or not the hubcaps, manhole covers manhole <laughs> um <laughs> well it's got seven stars on it i mean my walkway when we moved here i've told you this before the reason why we ended up here mainly i mean not mainly but it was a sign for me it was the final nail in the coffin was my first tattoo is the seven stars like i was talking about last night and uh our walkway that leads up to our house in colored mortar has seven stars engraved into it it's awesome <laughs> it's just fantastic it was just like okay well the universe is telling me <laughs> this is it so here i am what am i supposed to be doing universe tell me now <laughs> you tell me now is that oh that's racist isn't it um so yeah i thought that'd be kind of a cool shirt to do maybe a block of corn maybe we could do a few shirts i don't know would anybody wear them if anybody would wear a road to 40 shirt with either block of corn or the peanut butter and jelly without bread or, or something just ridiculous. Maybe discs. One, maybe just on the front of the shirt it says discs and it's a stack of CDs. And on the back it's just mywhitetrashlife.com. I think people would, I think that people would notice that. Wouldn't, I would. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, I need to at least check this out. What the hell is this? Discs. Mywhitetrashlife.com. Maybe that's a good name for a band. We've been thinking about changing the name of the band from Significant Others to something. <laughs> My White Trash Life is pretty good, and I already own the .com for it. I'm going to ask them. Remind me to ask them. If somebody remembers to remind me to ask them. <laughs> if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, it's uh, at Jason, G-E-Y-C-E-N. Uh, over on the Instagram, sometimes I post art. Most of the time, it's just insane pictures of weird things that I find. Uh, I went to a buffet once, and each plate of food that I brought back to the table, I photographed. I only had two plates of food, which I didn't eat all of it, and one dessert plate, which was small. But let's talk about buffets. <laughs> buffets. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> buffets are awesome and terrible like I love the all you can eat which when I'm hungry and I want to eat all I can eat 
I'll go to a buffet. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not very often. I'd say once every three to six months I go to a buffet. Probably six months. And I lose my fucking mind when I go there. Now, you should never sit down from getting your first plate, look down, and see the following. A taco. A slice of pepperoni pizza. Oh, what is that? Oh, a little lasagna. Yeah, that's pretty good, pretty good. Oh, what is that? Oh, mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. Then the next plate's like french fries, mozzarella sticks, a cheeseburger, and like marshmallow covered things. <laughs> it's just crazy. I just, I lose my mind. And I know when it hits my stomach, it's going to be bad news because A, I don't have the testicular fortitude i don't that's not the right word the <laughs> the guts and the glory to be eaten like that anymore i just don't but it's so much fun to do every now and again you know and i know i shouldn't and i, <laughs> I always walk out feeling terrible <laughs> way more full than anybody should feel i hate that feeling but i love the experience of it i just you know what i wish <sighs> i wish i could have my own personal buffet with no one around because i don't like interacting with people I don't know. I have a little bit of social anxiety disorder, I think. I mean, I don't think it's big. I don't think it's anything I should ever see anybody about. I just, I get awkward around lots of strangers at a buffet. Like, because everyone has the same mindset at a buffet. They're like, I want to eat as much fucking food as I can today. <laughs> Why else would you go to a buffet? Maybe you like the food. It's okay if you like the food there. Most of the time, each uh, nationality of food isn't quite as good as you would get if you went to an authentic one, obviously. But it's good enough to be like, all right, I don't know what I want to eat right now, and I could certainly go for some fries with that shake, shake booty. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, you all have this mentality. See, when you go to Walmart, when you go to the bank, they herd you. They herd you into the lines. We are cattle, my friend. Each and every one of us are cattle to corporate America and the corporate materialistic society we've grown to be a part of. I'm just as much a part of it. I'm not going to deny it. I'm just saying maybe somebody else can take the knowledge <laughs> and make themselves better for it. But, um, you know, at places like Walmart and the bank, you are herded. <laughs> How else do you explain it? Lining up. I think the Nazis did that too. Um, but... When you, go, <laughs> when you go to a buffet, it's like they just let you free for like a day. Like you get a 24-hour pass as a cow <laughs> to just go do anything. I don't know. So instead of eating the same grass you've been eating, you're like, whoa, I can have a little bit of that, that, this, that, that. So and in the South, it's even worse because it's just like you get <laughs> all the gross Southern stuff mixed in with everything. Not that, not that everything Southern is gross. There's a lot of good Southern cooking, mind you. But you're probably not going to find it at a buffet that also has, like, sushi. <laughs> yeah, the one near our house uh, on Ward's Road. It's not near our house. It's about 15 minutes. Uh, there's a Golden Corral, which is, yeah, it's a Golden Corral. And then there's this uh, hibachi grill. But they do all sushi and fish and, like, a lot of um, more exotic kind of things on the fly for you. They cook it there. I'm sure the ingredients aren't the best, but it's pretty neat. Um, and then you can get steak or a bunch of other stuff whenever because there's another person doing that. And the dessert menu is just so elaborate. Like they have like mousse or um, what's the little... Oh, um, little plastic cup. <laughs> they're usually like on the top. They're probably an inch and a half at the bottom. They're about an inch Parfait? Is that what it is? I don't know. It's pretty good there. It's actually really good there, surprisingly. I wish they'd get tiramisu, because I've never had that before. And I love I, all tiramisu. Bad, good, nasty, gross, realistic, authentic, shiny, dirty. Dirty. Dirty tiramisu. That's the name of the band. No. <laughs> My White Trash Life. I think that's it. I'm going to email the guys as soon as I'm done here. I'm going to write myself a little note here, because you know... The way my mind works. I haven't had any dreams, and I've forgotten to write and written it down. I've forgotten to... I forgot... I have forgotten to write it down in the dream diary. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't phrase that. Damn it. Oh, yeah. 
band name my white white trash life I think it's a pretty nice name I don't know maybe it's stupid is it stupid it's probably a stupid band name I don't know I'll bring it up see what they think about it I own the dot com so <laughs> I own the dot com <laughs> I'm the CEO of this dot com startup. <laughs> Just slap me if I get like that again. Sorry. Um, yeah. Let's try to focus. The cattle mentality, or not the cattle, but the herding mentality goes out the window at a buffet. And you don't know what kind of people you're going to deal with, especially in Lynchburg here. There's a lot of Christians here and a lot of wannabe gangsters. <laughs> and uh everything in between but i just don't like at least i don't i don't want to ever grow to like the hurting mentality but at the same time like <laughs> we should be able to hurt ourselves in a way you know what i mean like not be hurted allow this kind of freedom of food man think about it if every restaurant offered every different genre of food or every nationality or something like that not every i'm not talking super exotic but a standard flavor for each one which we've kind of established here in the united states anyway if you go to a chinese restaurant it's the same food at just about every chinese restaurant around you and you'll see that their menus are almost completely identical as well as the mexican places i don't know why it is like that it's kind of interesting it seems like they're all kind of run by a corporate or at least they all go through the same distributors. You know what I mean? I think that's probably what it is. They just customize the menu per each one. But a C-13 at the Chinese places is chicken, uh, sweet and sour chicken with pork fried rice and an egg roll. Which is fucking delicious. And I know it's probably not authentic, but I like it. My mouth appreciates it. So many people are so... I hate food snobs. I really do. Like, I understand we should be eating non-GMOs should be natural i mean we should probably be vegan um i really don't think we need to eat meat i've eaten meat in my life i've gone almost a year without meat um and i never felt really any different i really didn't i wasn't eating great but i was eating better than i ever had in my entire life and nothing ever satisfied me like i i just i know i should get over that like that's probably an ego thing rather than a chemical thing but buffets i like them i've got nothing against them i don't like the crowds that they draw it's like the walmart crowds people that shop at walmart all the time oh look at me feeding the beast <laughs> <sighs> gotta overcome that somehow i have to i need to knock out some bills i need to get like six months of bills paid ahead that's what i need to do <laughs> I'm going to open a donut buffet. Oh, yeah. You get donuts, muffins. Oh, dear Lord. Look what we've forgotten. This would be a nice t-shirt, too. One of those. Microphone cock. I don't know. <laughs> I think that might be taken a little too far. Maybe just microphone chicken. <laughs> I guess so. What's your name, little fella? Anybody got a name ideas? Eh? I'm thinking Carl. Carl, get off my microphone. <laughs> All right. Now that we've talked about buffets, let's finish up my day. Second day of homeschool went really well. Very excited. Very, very good. Much better than last year. I feel like he's into learning, into learning a lot more. And I'm trying to be more lenient because I can get uptight. That's one thing I'm not good at is teaching. I'm good at a lot of things. I'm not great at many I'm good at a lot of things. <laughs> that is like teaching and patience has not been one of them. Uh, and that's why I always said if I could adopt one quality or become better at one thing, it would be patience. Just being patient with life, myself, my kids, my family, my friends, just everything. I feel like I'm always on and that I'm always going a million miles an hour. Not all the time, but a good deal of the day. Anywho, I'm going to let you guys go because it's getting late, I'm tired, and uh, 
I have an unlevel pool in the back. I never finished that story. It's not pretty, my friends. It's got cushions involved and propping up and trying, instead of digging, just trying to prop up the hill, basically. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful night, day, morning, whenever you guys watch these. Um, if you're loving them like I'm loving them, please pass them along to anybody who you know who might like them. Uh, share them out on the Facebooks or the, you know, the, uh, the Google+. Plus. I don't really use it that much, but this is more effective over there because it's connected to uh, YouTube, of course, which is also, yeah, the whole Google thing. Google, 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 Google. Hmm. May have just found another word I don't like to say. I say it in my head a lot, but Google it, Google it, Google it. No, that's all right. I like saying Google it. That's fun. Say it together. Let's all say it. Google it, Google it. Did we say it together? Oh, we were in harmony. Perfect harmony. Ebony and ivory, motherfuckers. <laughs> Anywho, you guys have a great night. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. Do your best to make your best. Make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today, tomorrow. And let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. My name is Jason Oliveira. This is The Road to 40, and I'll see you a little bit further on down the road. <clears throat> to 40. All right, see you guys tomorrow.